This is Wayne Matus with WLM Services, LLC. And this is a days and state task add-in. What it'll do, it'll actually uh, send out email notifications when files have been in a particular state at X number of days. To install the task add-in, you will browse to your zip file, the workflow state task add zip file, and unzip the files to a folder somewhere on your local hard drive. Next, you will log in to your admin tool, your Enterprise PDM admin tool, uh, and you want to log in as a user to your vault that actually has administer add-in permissions. So you'll right click on the add-in icon in your vault and select new add-in. And now you'll browse to the folder where you unzip the two DLL files. Select both files. And click on the open button. And then you can press OK, and then OK the little warning dialog box. And it will now add the workflow state add-in for you. Next thing you want to do is configure your host computer. This is a computer that will actually be running the task. Uh, at least one computer on your network will need to be set up to run the task. Uh, you could set up more if you wanted to. So you select the task and then click the permit checkbox and you can OK this and now this computer is set up to run the task. So now you actually need to add the task to your vault. So you right click on your task icon in your tree and add new task. You'll give this task a name. I recommend the name of the workflow state that you're actually monitoring. Uh, you need to pick which add-in you're going to be running. So it'll be the workflow state task add-in. And we want to execute it as a logged in user. You can go to next. This is where we tell it what computer to run the task on. Uh, if you did not set up a, a computer for the task, and that would be blank, so you need to go in and set up your, configure your task host. Uh, here is where you set up your scheduling, when you actually want the task to run. And we want to run it every day. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to have it run at 4 o'clock, but I would recommend that you have it run overnight. You set up the task, which workflow you want to monitor and then what state in that workflow you want to monitor. Now you could pick more than one state if you wanted to. And now you need to tell it how many days in that state. For demonstration purposes I'll just do one day. If you wanted to set up to seven days for a week or something of that effect you could. Next is where you set up the user or groups that are permitted to run the task. And here is where you set up who gets notified when the task is successfully run. So this is where you'd set up either the user or the group that you want to send the email notifications to that the files have been in that state too long. Specify a subject. And 
then you can also specify text. The text will appear in the body of the email notification and it will appear at the top of the body of the text. So now, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll just send email notifications to everybody so that everybody will get notified after the task is run. So now the task is set up. And the task is run. Go to my task list and this will list all the tasks that have run. I can look at the task and give it a little bit more information. That it performed okay. How long it took to run. Uh, there's the information that we use to set up the task. Now, as an admin, I recommend that you periodically go in and clean up this list. And then when the task run, it actually sent out an email notification. So there's a notification that it sent out. If you were using Outlook or SMTP server mailing system, then this would be in your Outlook inbox. Uh, this is set up just like a state change email notification. So if I click on the file name link, it will actually open up the file in SolidWorks. Uh, the view will open up in eDrawings. I've got a few issues here with eDrawings, so I apologize for the issues with it. Get version will get the latest version, copy the latest version from the vault to your local hard drive. Properties will open up the dialog box so you can actually see the card file or the file card. History will display the history of the file. And again, just like you have in your in your state change email notification folders will open up Windows Explorer and browse to the folder. Now we can also use the same add-in to create additional tasks. So if you wanted to monitor other states and send emails to different people for these other state notifications, you could do that. So that is a days and state task add-in. I do thank you for listening. If you have additional EPDM special add-ins you need or any SolidWorks customization, uh, feel free to go to our website, www.wlmservices.net, or email me at wayne at wlmservices.net. And again, thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoyed the video.